Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Um, Martin, if I can start with you, just telling us a little bit about this show, because I think some people in the audience won't, nobody's seen it yet, but some people yes. won't know much about it yet, our international guests. Mm -hmm. So where did the story start? Uh, the show uh, uh, is called uh, yeah, tra uh, Traitor. Yes. And um, the series is, it's inspired, uh, inspired, sorry, <laughs> English is so rusty. It's inspired, um, uh, by recent uh, spy scandals in Estonia, and uh, we have had some huge, huge troubles in this area in Estonia. And this is like the background, the whole background of this um, idea of this show. And uh, our story begins in uh, 2004, uh, when Estonia joined NATO. Mm. Or NATO. 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 In my American. Uh, yeah. Yes, and uh, and we instantly uh, became um, a very very crucial target for uh, Russian intelligence. So and um, and it, it, the whole game was on on a new level here. Yeah. Yeah. And our uh, main character is um, oh, all the characters are uh, uh, not not real people, but they're only inspired from. From, from some person, yeah, yeah, it's it's a fiction, uh, and our main character is uh, called Alfred Wint, and uh, he works in Estonian Defence Ministry uh, as uh, uh, an official uh, there, okay. some uh, middle middle uh, mid level rank, mid level so. official, yes, and um, he starts to uh, co cooperate with um, Russian intelligence. Uh, he has worked as a milit militia, militionaire, mi okay. <laughs> policeman, Militian. policeman in Soviet times, and so he had kind of small, slight connections there. And now he has uh, very, very expensive hobbies, and uh, he's a bit um, let down at his workplace, and uh, and he. Um, he starts to cooperate with uh, Russian intelligence. And um, uh, and he's he's um, opposed by um, Estonian um, counterintelligence uh, officer Marko Arrak, who is a young, determined um, uh, officer. And so the uh, cat and mouse game begins. And um, we also uh, see a bit of uh, personal lives of these characters okay. and. Uh, social background and uh, of this era and and uh, the year 2004 uh, on the background of it all okay yeah so <laughs> and how much did you talk to real people involved in this world to uh, do some research or yes it all began for me when uh, thomas uh, invited me to elisa's office and uh, they already had um, met with andres anvelt Mm. who is a former Estonian policeman. He has worked in uh, government, in uh, Ministry of, uh, of Justice, in Ministry of uh, Interior, uh, mm. uh, Police, Ministry of Police. Let's say it's easier to... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, um, and he had done some research, a lot of research till this moment already. And... Um, and um, I instantly was very, very inspired by this, this theme. And uh, he gave me his materials, all the research, all the ideas, and I went home. And after some time, I, I came back with the story. Mm. So, and then he checked it and um, corrected me mm. if I was mistaken in some details. Mm. And, and I had all, all the assurance of a real pro, of a, like, a, like almost a spy who was, <laughs> who was like, uh, <laughs> Coaching me. Uh, How what this. a spy would think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's it, yeah, it gave confidence, and I I, I know that I, w I can come up with crazy ideas, and and he just can correct me if I'm. And uh, often I wasn't wrong, but I was uh, a bit wrong maybe in some details. But we mm. wanted all the details to be as precise yeah. uh, as we can uh, can can uh, can come up with, and uh, and um, yeah, it was it was fun and inspiring, and it it was really. I haven't done uh, this kind of work, uh, working so closely with some expert mm. uh, in my life. I've done some research for different uh, different series, but this time it was uh, was a bit, uh, it, it was more intense. Yes. So, so and after that, I wrote the scripts and I I sent them to 
uh, Andres, and he mm. also he corrected. He, he told me that the policemen they they don't um, they don't break the door in this scene. They just knock. So okay. I had to <laughs> make it real. <laughs> just yeah. an example of this uh, how. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Of a detail, yeah. Yeah, it was very, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. And Tomas, did it start at Elisa then? Had it, is that where the project originated? Yes, the yeah. idea came from Elisa. Okay. And is it, this is your first Estonian original series to be produced? Or uh, actually, it's the me? second one. Okay. Already this uh, spring we uh, cooperated with ETV and we produced a documentary series. Okay, so this, so this is, is the first fiction drama series. Yes, this is yeah. kind of the logical next uh, step. Okay, and why was it this the kind of story you thought Elisa audiences would want to see? Uh, because it's uh, it's such a good story and it's, uh, it's actually an untold story mm. up until today. Yeah. And when did you partner with the broadcaster? Is that, I mean, you said... I mean, because a lot of times the platforms and broadcasters don't always make good bedfellows. But maybe you can talk uh, both about how you work together on the documentary series and then on this and why it makes sense to work together. Uh, yes, it, uh, as I told, it started with the uh, documentary series. Uh, we were kind of testing out uh, if we would match with the mm. national broadcaster. Uh, I can say it was an instant match. Okay. It was. It was. Okay. Yes. Uh, from the first moment, we uh, we saw that we we think alike and we want to do uh, similar things, uh, and uh, and yes, it, the documentary series came out uh, really good. We have excellent feedback from our clients. Uh, it's ETV is now has now started uh, showing it also uh, with. Excellent ratings, I might say. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yes, like I mentioned, Traitor was the next logical step, and uh, ETV was our next or, or was our logical partner, so mm. to say, to create such a project. Well, and for you, Thomas, why did it make sense? First of all, we are not an island, a distant island somewhere. Uh, the drama works everywhere well, if it's well written drama, especially. And I think Trader is one of those. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's brilliant, actually. Mm. I was not involved back then when those mm. decisions were made, so I can, you know, yeah. talk freely about that and criticize all the way I want. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <clears throat> to say mildly, I think it's brilliant. Mm. And who gets the? How's the release structured? Does somebody get a first window? They yeah. get the first window. Okay. How long we, for? And we pick it up from there. Then. Okay. What was it? Six months. Uh, this is longer, actually. With the uh, documentary, it was about six months, but with Traitor, it's almost a year. But and we so have to we have to look those things through, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, it varies on the project. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you know, I guess with with that, um, why is it important for you to have that window? Is it's you're dependent on subscribers here in. Yes, Estonia. exactly. And, uh, and, and this would we, be a benefit for them subscribing to be yes, able to see this, this first. this would be something for our clients that our competitors don't offer. Oh. Some extra value uh, in addition to the regular uh, linear TV channels. Hmm. Oh, if I may add, then hmm. it, it's really superb, I think, <clears throat> that uh, that Elisa has taken this kind of approach because in, the, in this... Uh, concrete um, sort of technical solution where they are offering the series. They don't have a huge number of subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. However, not Elisa, Elisa oh. has decided to invest into the content very, very significantly. And I would say, oh, it helps the whole industry in Estonia. Because yeah. if, if, if it weren't for the partnership as a broadcaster, you wouldn't have been able to greenlight a show like this at this level? Or are you... That would stretch you financially and your risk profile, perhaps? I, I don't know. Um, no, yes and no. Okay. If we look at our budget, then uh, <laughs> one can't say that the national broadcaster doesn't have, you know, 
funding will be due. Hmm. It's always a question of choices. Uh, naturally, it is uh, significantly easier to produce something 50-50 uh, with a very good partner. Yeah. And I think in the world uh, that we live in today, the very good partnerships are going to benefit both sides always. Hmm. So um, from that perspective, I think we're going to see more and more of those with us, Elisa, I don't know, maybe with uh, some private channels, somebody else. So um, uh, those parties who, who try to cooperate will win. And does this feel like a show that's sort of a game changer for Estonian TV? <coughs> Specify the game. But, um, <laughs> but um, I think Estonian public broadcasting has not been very, very active in drama series, mm. which is going to change now, of course. Yes. And, uh, and if you think that game, then yes, it could be a game changer. And I definitely think that this is, this is one of the strongest things that we have, um, that we have been uh, involved in drama-wise uh, mm. lately. Uh, are we going to do a lot more drama? I hope so. Mm. What could see, depend on how this one goes. And at Elisa, especially in Estonia, what do you see the ambitions for dramas like this? This is sort of a statement of intent to do more like this, perhaps. Uh, yes, this is definitely one, um, uh, one aspect that we want to cover and we want to be really strong in, in this region. Hmm. And Martin, for you, does it feel different than other projects you've seen that you've worked on, that you've seen on Estonian TV? Uh, yes, it's um, <clears throat> the whole topic and the whole theme is uh, is um, uh, is different because we we haven't had a spy related hmm. uh, TV shows in Estonia, and um, and uh, also the the story is um, more international hmm. than usually on Estonian. Uh, TV productions because of the NATO uh, and it, it, it's all concerns like uh, the whole world. Or mm. Everybody knows what is NATO and and, yeah. and the same kind of spy games are going on right now <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. Yes. So, so that's uh, that's maybe one thing. It's, it's we we have done lots of comedies and lots mm. of um, uh, very local stories for local mm. viewers and and right now it this story is like. On 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 a different um, like position in this mm. this uh, table on this table, so this is kind of new mm. also for me and uh, I guess for the viewers also. Mm. And we we hope we really hope to surprise Estonian <coughs> viewers uh, with the with the quality of the production, with the details of the year two thousand four. Mm. <laughs> so, you can't. It's it's incredible how much has been has changed, changed in fifteen yeah, years. Yes. Yeah, I guess you can't use lots, almost anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a costume drama from seventeen. It's a period drama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all, oh. Yeah. Okay. You, you you want to shoot the exterior in in the in the uh, in the center of town somewhere, and uh, all the plates of the cars, the number so plates different. are. Wrong. <laughs> you have to change every plate, yeah. and uh, and uh, it's go even even uh, bread is a different shape in a yeah. different shape right now. <laughs> we, we had to we had this uh, on, on a table in a scene, and uh, somebody told you you couldn't have this uh, in this, a shape of uh, this kind right. of bread in 2004, and so we have had to send somebody. Get, get us back a fresh bread from 2004 or something uh, like that. Wow. So, <laughs> um, um, and Gertz was saying what's really working now is things that are sort of very local stories that then can break out, but you don't necessarily make a story thinking, they're going to love this in America. No. Um, so you've made this for the Estonian market. Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's, but you uh, hope it can then uh, travel, I guess. Yeah, I, I see the potential there because... It is a very local story at the same time. Uh, all mm. these problems, all these characters, they have these uh, problems which they had in 2004 here and, and al also nowadays. And, and, but the whole overall, overall theme and overall relations, they are not uh, strange to uh, another, uh, viewers of another country, mm. I, I think. Yeah, have you had international interest? Or do you have an international sales Company working there on are it? some discussions okay. going on at the moment, yes. Okay. 
And it would be also shown on Elisa Vide? Or uh, how does that Estonia, work? In it's, Estonia, uh, it's going to be in Elisa Hoop. Okay. And yes, in Finland, it's going to be on Vite. Okay. Can you, what about in China? Did all the spies on your Chinese platform? Maybe not. <laughs> no talk. <laughs> Maybe that's too close yet. to home. Um, but they are listening, right? Yes, now, exactly. <laughs> I won't say another word. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can pitch it. Exactly. Um, I mean, what? How much do you, you all know about the Estonian audience and their appetite for high-end drama like this? Do you feel like? There's been sort of surveys of that audience. Do we are there precedents? You're saying there's not really been spy stories like this on TV. Yeah. How, how well do you, do you all know the audience? Is there is the audience a mystery? I I really hope that this is a good um, good uh, uh, like, like a refreshment. Uh, um, in between the comedies. Yeah. <laughs> so comedy so, does very well here. Comedy yeah. is usually like, uh, you can bet that this, um, this will, um, people will, will watch it. And, but if you, if you make an intense story, a thrilling story with local actors, local themes mm. also, it's, uh, I, I hope that people will, will mm. turn in and, uh, I think that we have kept Estonian uh, public in a deficit regarding good drama. So mm. there's your answer. Um, and in terms of the f funding, is quite stable for broadcast public broadcasting here, or is that another <laughs> stable? Question? Yeah, I, stable. I would say it's stable. Yes, okay. not uh, not uh, on the level that it could be, but it's stable. Okay. And with Elisa, you. How long have you been operating in Estonia for a couple of years? Or uh, no, no, no. Elisa has been uh, here for twenty-five. Elisa, years. but for commissioning new dra drama series, in it's the a year TV or two. business, so yeah. to say. Yeah. Uh, Elisa acquired uh, Starman, okay. a big uh, telco company, here a couple of years ago. <laughs> but uh, we started doing our own productions uh, this year. Okay. The beginning mm. of this year. And so do you see something that, you know, you've done maybe one or two in this first year? Do you see it growing? How do you see it growing? Could it go up to we see four shows growing, a year? Uh, or? I don't want to go to uh, too many details right now, but we have a lot of ideas on the table and uh, this def definitely is, is only the start for us. Okay. Only the beginning. Good to hear. Um, are there any questions from the audience? Yes, please. So, in case people didn't hear, it's a, he was sort of praising the bank, which was the was a year or two ago that it premiered, and it's been travelled internationally a bit. And yeah, that was a sort of new level of of TV show here. Yeah, have you gone up from that? I think we have gone down from that, because Bank was uh, produced for the hundredth uh, oh, celebration 100 of anniversary. Estonia, and for that reason, it got uh, extraordinarily high uh, level of uh, production value or basically finances. So now I I don't think that we are on the same level. No, no. <laughs> but. Everybody's just, looking at the floor now. We just have to be extra, extra, extra good uh, in our work to just compensate all this money, what we don't have but <laughs> to put in. Yeah, that's the <laughs> reality. What, what were the challenges of making this show? I mean, you mentioned it's period, but it's not corsets and horse and buggies, you know, but it's period in a strange way. Was That, that sounded like one challenge, but just making the show, what was, what was sort of unique about the production of the show. Uh, Anybody? <laughs> production of the show. Yeah. Like I said, this all this. Um, um, what what? Uh, recent past. Yeah, the recent past, and uh, the the main hit was um, the, the our uh, 
our artist got the main hit, <laughs> you know, main <laughs> punch from this, because uh, it was really there were really, really, really lots of details and lots of um, uh, interiors to design and lots of um, lots of things together. Uh, so it was uh, production was this was the main challenge mm. and this was. Um, and, and and really, I, I kind of made it, it uh, like a joke to seem like a joke that we had to be really, really um, good. <laughs> so, but I, actually, everybody put some extra effort because everybody was were very thrilled about this uh, mm. to get to to, to do something like with <laughs> this kind of story and this kind of theme and to do something serious and mm. and, and so. Um, do we have any footage? We can show. Oh. Yes. Okay, thank you. This is the, the beginning of the... The show. Yeah. The show. The show. The show. Aga kiusatud sürrelist, Tartu sõpruskond. Oma seina pead sellist vaadata. But the real beginning. Aga see ei ole vist üldse. Jah, see siin on püsi ekspositsioon. Aga kus üldse sellest asjaliku Eesti kunsti osta saab? No kunsti jooks on ütelt saab. Mõned galeriid müüvad, aga siit nii mitte. Te paistate päris kursis olevat. Koguti see ka või? Väikest viisi, mul on mõned grafilised lähed küll. Väga huvitav, tõesti väga huvitav. See peaks ikka üks ja kui kallis obi olema. No, jõudu mööda. Kuulge, aga läheks ajaks parasana juttu kunstist ja kunsti kogumisest ja Valeri blokk. Vabandust ma tõesti, ma pean minema, ette. Oleks võõra kiirusta. Meil on üüsid tuttavaid vanadest aegadest. So, oh. See minu pahal, et sa saadab terviseid. Tähendab see jutu ajamene ei ole midagi sellist, mida ma vägada. Rahu, sõber. Kõik on hästi. Me peame selle vestluse lõpetama. See on lihtsalt vana asi. Millega? Võelus on kõik korras. Demokraatia tingimustes kõik kõitseb, jah. Südal olab. Ting rõõmustab. Mida te silmas peate? Sa on siit vanda, Alfred. Mis sa, et jumal, ma olin noor. Okay, this maybe we, we didn't pause. have the subtitles here, but yeah. Um, so, can you tell me for yeah, my English the, needs yeah, what the, happened? The first, uh, first, uh, uh, the, uh, Alfred Wint is uh, there. Tampa Tuiskans. He he meets with this uh, uh, Russian it intelligence officer who is approaching him in this uh, art gallery. Uh, as I said, our uh, main character, the traitor, has some. Uh, expensive hobbies and he's a lover of arts and uh, oh. and he would like to buy something and uh, you know he's, he's an elegant man and uh, and um, uh, with elegant hobbies and uh, and that's where he meets this um, Russian Russian guy who is half Estonian uh, but you can uh, it, it this uh, you, you, you will see it later <laughs> 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 well, yeah. um, okay but this is kind of near the beginning of okay. the story, yeah. And Tambet Twisk, the actor, is he famous here already? Yes, yeah. Tambet uh, is famous. He was in the theater uh, No. 99. Uh, he, was, he has played in several movies. He's an uh, experienced film actor. He's a really good character actor. And, uh, and um, he's um, kind of very, in, an, in, in a very right age mm. <laughs> is, is also important because we were looking for different options uh, the main character has to be somewhere 40 45 between this age in the year 2004 having worked in soviet militia uh, like uh, 14 yeah, 15 okay. years ago so um, but this, this, uh, this is not the main main, main um, thing about Tombat. But and he's a very elegant and very mm. precise actor, and and he's uh, in a way he's, uh, he's very lovable. And our traitor also must be lovable, also hateable and lovable at the same time. 
<laughs> so, Amazing. So uh, that's why we thought Tom, but this, and and I, I'm really, really, I really love it, love him in, in this role. He's, he's very good. Okay. So tonight you're showing first two episodes, or first, just first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many? It, yeah. And also with subtitles. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Good. Good to note. Um, and. How many episodes in the first series? Uh, is it eight? Six. Six. Six episodes, yes. And uh, episode is um, uh, uh, how, how, one hour, hour long. Okay. Yes, in minutes. first season. In the first in season. In first season, yes. Okay, so hints that maybe we'll see more after uh, that. The story will end at this... Uh, at the moment when you want to see it uh, okay. again, <laughs> you want to see what's going. Uh, what's coming What's next. coming, yes. <laughs> and when, what's the date that Elisa's going to start airing uh, it? In the middle of December. Okay. And do you drop it all at once or week by week? No, we drop uh, three episodes in December and the other three in January. Oh, okay. So it's like a partial binge pre-Christmas and then you get the rest. Yes, wonderful. Best of luck with the premiere tonight. It sounds you. fascinating. Uh, so please do go check out. What time is it again? At seven? Uh, it's no, at later. Six, but I'm sorry. The uh, oh, it's, it's yes. Sold out. Okay, so yes, sorry, it's sold out. Sorry, <laughs> but you can watch it all. That means what a hot ticket! Congratulations on a sold out screening. Um, people can then see it in December, January here. A bit later on TV, and it sounds like international plans will be rolling out. So, congratulations on the trader, and thanks for coming Thank to talk to us about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.